occupational health hazards of professional artists and painters women. Painting for me is like a form of expression. Just the way I speak, I uh, you know explain a few things to people in words. I prefer to do that. Finishing a painting from start to finish was very often what I did. So it got very difficult to wait in between and ponder and think, or then give it time for another day to happen. So this meant a lot of endless hours. I did not care about the posture, I did not care about the way I was sitting and the way I was working, I only cared about my work. The turpentine combined with the linseed oil and the fumes that uh, the turpentine gives out were getting uh, a little uh, you know, toxic for me. Uh, many of the chemicals used in the painting uh, field may be a little volatile or may give rise to some fumes which can be reactive and probably allergic to some. I used to, I used to sneeze and uh, my eyes used to water, my nose used to water, I mean, and uh, that allergy was, uh, I mean, that, that, that was a problem, that was a major problem. Even today though I love to work in oil, I cannot work because of uh, this problem. So if a person specifically does develop such a problem, he or she has to look into it and try and work around it or try and improve the ventilation in the area or in the studio so as to not have this problem because a chronic problem over a long period of time can give rise to a major problem. Initially, the initial months of my pregnancy, I was fine. I did not even occur to me that this might be a problem. But uh, towards the seventh month, actually, I was painting a lot and uh, full swing because I had a show coming up. So I just paused for a bit. I checked with my doctor and he said to just kind of take it easy. Try not to use turpentine because uh, in, in that close uh, vicinity, definitely could have some uh, side effects. Of all the artists interviewed for this film's research, 80% suffered from red eyes and running nose. 60% had allergies to turpentine due to prolonged working hours. 65% had orthopedic problems due to wrong posture. And I was painting mostly uh, on the floor because that's that's my style. You know, I spread out the canvas on the floor and, and I bend over it. That's how I work. After delivery, I had uh, a very severe backache which lasted almost a year. I figured that those three months that I really, really exerted myself uh, during my pregnancy, uh, it kind of had started playing, you know, on my back and after delivery, it just completely went out of control. I presume if she's bending forward far too much than what she should, does it mean that so the surface on which she's painting is horizontal, which means she should keep it more vertical or maybe on an easel at a slightly more acute angle to the uh, horizontal, which probably will make her stand up and probably help her to paint better without any strain on the back. This is how your back bends when you get pregnant. And when you work in this position, it bends further more, thus causing backaches. Till the time I would finish my work, I would not stop. And uh, continuously I used to uh, be uh, kneeling on my knees and uh, working and uh, at the same time there was a complete curve on my back because uh, I was doing it on the floor and uh, that weight coming on my knees. The position in which she is painting she shouldn't be bending forwards or bending downwards and painting or doing her work. I went on like this for quite some time and uh, there was a day when I felt that uh, I cannot uh, sit down because uh, my knees had started hurting. It was uh, partially because of the posture, partially because of the way I was kneeling down on the floor. The knees showing up that it's not able to remain in that position for long. 
Uh, this fact is also compounded by the fact that she is 50 year old, so she is menopausal. Uh, well, this does also pose an additional problem of early osteoporotic changes, for which obviously she has not been counselled. Having a standing posture instead of bending or sitting can reduce the muscle pains and swelling. Although, it's recommended that one should take small breaks in between almost after every 30 minutes of working. It was always great painting with a lot of passion, with a lot of involvement, endless hours, you know, that just went into when I wanted to complete something. But that exhaustion was so, so fruitful in the way that it gave me a lot of uh, uh, happiness and, you know, achievement that uh, I needed to not uh, let go of that style of work. But then over time, slowly, it started taking uh, a toll on very specific areas of my back. And, you know, this kind of uh, holding up the hand uh, and working at a, at a height which was higher than my shoulder at times, you know, that there used to be such a lot of severe pain. And then the nights it used to be more like, you know, trying to uh, apply this balm and that balm and, you know, take a shower, a hot bath. And, uh, and it used to really work very well for that night. And anyway, who was bothered about, you know, what the pain was all about? It was more about having achieved something really great on a canvas. It was only post a certain period when I realized that I had a kind of a slight dislocation. My uh, orthopedic surgeon said, no, it can't be because this is not something which has happened just overnight. Because if it happened overnight, it would be very severe pain and he would have run to me, you know. And I hadn't run to him at all. I had gone to him because I was just upset about the fact that this old shoulder didn't look like it should be where it should be in that place. So I think the bottom line in all these cases, probably the same points are coming up again and they need to be just emphasized. Uh, the first thing like we all doctors keep saying is prevention is better than cure. And to prevent it, you need to understand the body well enough, one. Two, probably you need a good teacher or a guide who will train you well enough. And uh, on these two counts, if you were to work in a proper posture or you were taught to work in the correct posture, maybe the fatigue caused to the joints and muscles will be lesser and your output will improve. And at the same time, we need to do specific exercises of these muscles so as to be able to work on them. Always consult a doctor if you have a persistent problem and get it checked. Keep your workplace properly ventilated and work activities hygienic. Use mask when working with volatile substances like turpentine and benzene. Try integrating water-based painting techniques instead of oil-based. Take small breaks of 10 minutes after every 30 minutes of working to relax your muscles. Here are some of the exercises which you can do in the breaks to relax your muscles. Sit erect, look straight, hands relaxed down, then slowly turn your neck from center to extreme end. Count 1 to 5. Slowly come back to center and turn to other side. Again count to 5. This is one cycle. Like that, you should do 5 repetitions. Similarly, there is lateral bending but see your head is on the shoulder line. Now we come to shoulder. Relax your body. Elevate the shoulder. Count to 10 and relax. These can be initially started with 5 and gradually increase to 10. Now for lower back, lie down on your stomach, bring your arms to your side, push the floor with your hands, put your legs together and slowly raise your head. Your chest should be off the ground. Avoid the temptation to put all your weight on your arm. Now for ankles, stand on your toes, count to 10 and gradually come to the ground. This helps your ankles and feet. Do it 5 times a day. We are all educated, we know that we should be doing all of this but we just don't because when we get into that work, I know you want to go on, go ahead and come through with that final result. 
so I cannot give a painting, uh, but I have uh, made alterations in my uh, lifestyle. I have started uh, exercising and I have started uh, doing some yoga and some prana and that is keeping me uh, more fit and uh, giving me more energy to carry on my work. That was one thing that I really, really regret. Uh, it took me a whole year to recover from that backache. I wish I had been a little bit more careful. Uh, in terms of just bending and you know exerting my back that much. 